All right, Matt, third fight, UFC Copenhagen. This one also taking place in the light heavyweight division. You've got Iwan the Hulk Kutelaba taking on Khalil Roundtree. And Matt, in my mind's eye, these two guys fight very, very they similarly. Do. You look at height and reach, both, you know, kind of close. Roundtree with some slight advantages here and there. But as far as the height's concerned, both six foot one. These guys are both consistent and inconsistent they're consistent with their power they're inconsistent with their performances you look at a guy like Ion Kutalaba lost his last fight to one of those guys just keeps sticking around at yeah. the top of the division in Glover Teixeira and then you look on the opposite end of the spectrum and Khalil Roundtree was able to beat kind of a career middleweight that we've seen move up to 205 in Eric Andrews what do you make of this fight it's definitely gonna be an exciting one I mean both guys just have so much power it's insane but Khalil Roundtree went from being like, oh, he's got big power and he's okay, to in his last fight, he was like, oh yeah, I went to Thailand and now I just look like a Thai fighter. And he's really good at it. He's lightning fast, has really big power. I'm kind of giving away who I'm going to pick already. But Ion Kutalaba, this is my problem with him. He has almost like the Mike Tyson problem. He's really good, but the second he faces any adversity is when he kind of slows down and shells up a little bit. Like, when the going's good, he's great, but when he kind of faces any adversity, things start to go south for him. Now, he could go out there and knock out Khalil Roundtree in the first 30 seconds i don't see this fight going out of the second round at the latest but it's definitely gonna be a fun one probably a performance of the night bonus to whoever wins yeah i mean it's a really fun fight i mean i don't think either of these guys have a super high ceiling at 205 roundtree's 29 kutelab is only 25 you have to kind of factor that in and they definitely each have quite a few fights left in their ufc careers unless something crazy happens yeah they're or two really kutelab tests again uh for, for blood you doping, know, blood doping. but that. as far as the odds are concerned You've got Khalil Roundtree as a slight favorite here, minus 135. Kute Laba, if we have a look at it, I mean a plus 115. Matt, who are you taking in this I'll fight? I'll take a Roundtree just due to the fact that he was in Thailand for like three months and he looked completely redesigned. So you give him an extra six months doing that same training regime. I mean, who knows the improvements that he's made since then. So I'm picking Khalil in this fight. Matt's picking Khalil Roundtree. I'm going to take Iwan Kute Laba. I think he's going to have the advantage here if it's just a strictly stand-up fight. But listen... Don't ever knock Khalil Roundtree. I know people will down in the comments yeah. will say, hey, you should have picked Roundtree. But Just listen, I'm really looking don't forward to this fight. this fight. Somebody's going to get finished in this one. Matt, fight name picks. Two-minute breakdowns. UFC Copenhagen. Let's get in.